stayed poor, wayfaring stranger, traveling through this world below. There is no sickness. In this guitar lesson, I'm going to show you all how to play Wayfaring Stranger in the style of Johnny Cash. We've got a PDF of the chords and the lyrics that you can download right below this video here at countryguitaronline.com. So be sure to check that out. And you've also got the tablature for all the instrumental arrangements that you can download as well below the video. Just click those download buttons, print that stuff out. It's going to be helpful as we go through all this. But in this lesson, I'm going to show you all, all the lyrics. I'm going to show you how the lyrics fit over the chord progressions. I'll break down all the chords that you need and give you all some great strumming patterns that'll make your playing sound a little more country and bluegrass. Then for those of y'all that don't want to sing this song, I'm going to show you all kind of like a standalone acoustic guitar arrangement that is really nice that brings in a lot of the melody line of Wayfaring Stranger. So that'll be good for those of y'all that don't really care about singing this song and just want to play it on your guitar. Anyways, let's get to it. Let's start breaking down the chords that you need first, and we'll just go from there. So let's check out the first chord that we got in this song. And by the way, there's only five chords in this whole song. That's it. But a couple of them have a bit, we're using a bit of, odd, uh, bit of an odd fingering with the left hand, so I'm going to show you all those. So first chord we got is just a standard A minor chord. Nothing crazy going on, and um, typically, you know, when I'm playing an A minor, I would usually mute that low E string, but in this song, we're going to be doing a boom chick strumming pattern, and I've covered this pattern a lot in other lessons, but for those of y'all that aren't familiar with this, boom chick strumming pattern sounds like this, boom chick, boom chick, boom chick, boom chick, where the boom is a pick of those individual bass line strings and the chick is a down strum on the skinnier strings. So boom, chick, boom, chick, boom, chick, boom, chick, pick down, pick down, pick down, pick down. And how we're going to be counting this, we're going to count a quarter note count. So say we're, we're in 4-4 four, four time here in the song which means there's four, four, four quarter notes in a measure. So uh, every time we count a quarter note, we're going to make contact with the string with our pick. So count it out just like this. So over the A, mi or, yeah, the a minor chord. One, two, three, four. So that's one measure. One, two, three, four. Pick down, pick down. One, two, three, four. One measure. Pick down, pick down. So anyways, um, now that we got all that stuff out of the way, let's get back into it and let's go through all these chords. We're using an alternating bass line over this A minor chord, and alternating bass line means I'm just alternating between two strings, you know? So the first pick, or the first boom, is gonna be on that fifth string. So fifth string, strum. The second boom, or the second pick, is gonna be on the sixth string, strum. So shouting those string numbers out. I'm doing fifth string strum, sixth string strum. So that's what you're gonna do over every A minor in this whole song. Five strum, six strum, pick down, pick down. And you can hear it already in the song. I'm just a poor, stranger. Traveling through. So here's the second chord <clears throat> that we need. D minor chord. Same thing, we're gonna be doing alternating bass line. 
the strings that we're going to be picking are going to be different over this D minor chord. We're going to be picking the fourth string first, then strum, and then fifth string strum. So that's over the D minor. Every D minor in the song is what you'll do. Four strum, five strum, pick down, pick down, pick down, pick. Traveling through this world alone. And here we switch back to the A minor there. Sickness, no toil, no danger. In that broad land, back to the D minor. And now we're going to an E minor, uh, to an E7, an E7 chord. Lots of different ways to play the E7 chord. This is the fingering that we're going to be using in today's lesson. And in this song, you can actually play an E major chord if you want instead. The regular old E major chord, it sounds fine too. But I like the sound of the E7 in this song. It makes a little bluesier sound. It kind of gives it that country and bluegrass feel. Um, so the, over the E7, I like to, with that right hand, I like to do six string, strum, fifth string, strum, six strum, five strum, pick down, pick down. And the E7 chord throughout this song, there's, uh, there's typically just one measure of the E7 played in these chord progressions. We'll go over the chord progressions later. But um, in that broad land to which I go. And after that E7, it goes back to the A minor. And so I just played through a verse right there, and you can see how those chords fit in there. Um, once you get to the chorus, the next chord you'll need is just F major chord. And this chord is slightly different. Uh, I'm playing this F major slightly different than I typically would play an F major open chord. It's almost the same. I'm sure most of y'all are probably familiar with this fingering here. You know, where you got your left ring finger on the root note of the F chord on that fourth string. But today, in this lesson, what I like to do for this song, and actually what I like to do in a lot of country and bluegrass stuff, is play the F like this. So you got this standard fingering there for the open chord. All you gotta do to play the, this new fingering is just shift that left ring finger to the fifth string now instead. Right there, fifth string, third fret, and just put your pinky right where your ring finger was on the fourth string. So I like doing this for a couple of reasons. It's a kind of a fuller sounding F chord. You can let all five of those strings ring out. Muting that low E string with the tip of your left ring finger. But um, I do this F major chord like this also because it's really good for this alternating bass line that we use in this song. And we're gonna be doing the right hand picking over this F chord on the fourth string strum, and then fifth string strum. So you see how that, that shape with that left hand is just set up for you to do that alternating bass line. Just like that. You don't have to shift that left hand at all. So that's how I like to strum over the F chord in this song. Fourth string strum, fifth string strum. So you can hear it in this course right here. I'm going to my father. Um, I lost the melody. Hang on one second. Which I go. Here we go. I'm going there to see my father. Here we go. And right when you get to the uh, the next chord in the chorus. You're switching that C major chord, just like this. And you'll notice that this is also a slightly different fingering than what you may be used to for the C major chord. Um, there's a standard C major chord that most of us are used to with that left ring finger on that root note, fifth string, 
Mm. And that C, um, same type of thing for the C chord. All we're gonna do now is play it just like we did the F chord almost. We're gonna use that left ring finger now, shift it to the, um, that G right there, third fret, low E string, and then put your pinky on the fifth string, that note C. So now you can just let all six strings ring out for the C chord. Really pretty way to play a C major chord. It just sounds a lot fuller. But I like doing it this way in this song because it sets you up for that alternating bass line with the right hand. And over the C chord, what we're gonna be doing is fifth string strum, sixth string strum. Pick down, pick down, five strum, six strum. Don't have to shift anything with the left hand. That's what's so great about this fingering. Uh, in, in addition to that just sounds so awesome. So that's a cool chord right there. You can use that in a bunch of other songs. Um, so that's it. That's the five chords that you need to play this whole song. And we've gone over all of them, showed you the, uh, the basic boom chick strumming pattern over each of those chords. Now let's talk a little bit more about the strumming. I'm going to give you all a couple other options that are slightly more advanced than that basic pick down, pick down pattern. So let's practice these over the A minor chord. <clears throat> and what you could do instead is do pick down up, pick down up, just like that. Pick down up, pick down up, pick down up, pick down up. Same basic idea. When you do this, still focus on the down strums. Make sure there's more emphasis on the down strums so you can still hear that pick down, pick down main pattern in there. But those up, those little quick up strums we're adding in, those are just going to accent strums. Pick down up, 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 pick down up. And I've talked about this pattern in some other videos too. You could also call this pattern the boom chicka, boom chicka pattern. Boom chicka, boom chicka, boom chicka, boom chicka. So if you add some singing to it. I'm just a poor wayfaring stranger. It makes it a little, a little more, uh, a little fuller sounding, I guess. Has a little, a little bit more to it. So one other strumming thing, strumming pattern that you could use, almost the same thing um, right here, but just one extra up strum. Listen to this one here. Pick, down, up, pick, up, down, up. You hear the extra up in there. Pick, down, up, pick, up, down, up. By the way, you know, if you couldn't tell there, I'm not changing anything with those alternating bass notes. Those always stay the same. You're still going to be alternating between the same two strings over every chord, but uh, you're just changing up the strums, like those accent strums. Pick down, pick up, down, pick down, pick up, down. And this sounds like it might be not too difficult, but um, once, once you start adding lyrics to this, it's hard to get this clean and make it sound right over this song. This pick down up, pick up, down up pattern. A little tricky, you know, especially when you're trying to emphasize the, the pick down, pick down. Make sure those ring out nice and clearly. Um, just work on that, you know. Down, pick up, down, pick up. Make sure you're getting the volume on the right picks, the, like the louder volume, you know, and, the, and the, the right strums. So it's tough to get those bass line notes ringing out loud enough and to get the down strums ringing out, but then back off on those up strums so they're just more of accents. It's, it's tricky. Pick, down, pick, up. This 
So those are the main strumming patterns that I like to use throughout this song when I'm singing for the most part. So um, have any questions on that, you drop them in the comment box below this video. If you want to go through all the chord progressions for the song and hear me kind of add some vocals to those chord progressions, hop on over to the next tab. And later in the lesson, we'll also go over a fancier way to play the intro and a good instrumental break that you can use.